welcome back till now we talked about what is power bi what are all different components of power bi how to design power bi i mean how to develop a report using power bi how to apply filters and how to do the deployment and how to implement a security now let's talk about what is scheduling see when i say scheduling see if you understand clearly the power bi is a in memory data storage mechanism whenever you develop a report it picks all the data and stores in the memory and displays in a visualization format when you deploy whatever the data it contains at that time it shows the data even after post deployment as well by default it won't connect again back to the data source to get the updated data when i say data source the source data might be a excel source might be a sharepoint might be a sql server anything so the default behavior of power bi report is to show the data which is available during the deployment time that's it but that doesn't serve our purpose we need a daily update to the data maybe hourly update as well so some cases like it's a daily update is enough but some cases you have to go for hourly update as well to achieve that we have an option in the power bi by using power bi service power bi gateways with the help of power bi service gateways we can enable the scheduling to the power bi dashboards which are deployed on the cloud power bi cloud you can enable the schedules as well you can enable the hourly schedules as well as weekly schedules as of now even power bi allows by default eight schedules per day it's up to you now to schedule within a day out of eight if you want to put every hour yes you can put it uh, for every hour 8:30 9:30 and so on only eight schedules you cannot have more than eight schedules in the power bi cloud so there is an another option to get customized schedules that's a different uh, concept we'll talk separately now so let me show you how to scheduling as well how to do the scheduling as well but before that i need to enable the power bi service gateways so where to enable by default it won't come to your system you need to install the on premise power bi gateway connectors on your server or on your laptop for your personal practice you need to install on your pc in, your, in the office purposes you need to install in the one of the common server so from that server only the gateways helps us to schedule the power bi dashboards so where can i see those first of all how to download how to install so let's quickly go to the power bi cloud so this is a uh, the app, app that power bi.com so i showed you earlier so if you go to the workspaces so you have a sales and admin so let me click on sales dashboard okay. sales uh, workspace here i have orders as well as um, orders and uh, rls it is nothing but role level security dashboard this is the one direct orders one so you can enable the scheduling only on the top of data set not on the report so way to enable scheduling is so if you hover the data set any of the data set okay if you observe the closely difference between order uh, report and other data set when i hover order report i can see this uh, uh, share and there is a star add to favorites but here when i hover on the other uh, data set i can see refresh okay and i can see them uh, schedule refresh if you see okay so this is the one which helps us to do the manual refresh if you click on manually pulls the data but we cannot directly daily come here and refresh it it is not possible in the real environment maybe during the practice you can do it 
but let's click on this once you click on this you will get couple of options so if you see here settings for orders okay here you can see the list of data sets available here okay so i selected orders data set settings for orders you can see view data set the data set has been configured by my email id venkatem at the rate training to sql dot on microsoft.com so refresh history is is it refreshed anytime currently no only on demand is completed okay that's on um, 28th uh, august 2023 so then close and so that it's a description nothing is there now where i need to enable the schedule is if you see the bottom there is a couple of options let's come to directly to the refresh let's click on this yes here if you see all the options are disabled the reason is gateways are not configured so how to configure where to configure is so if you click one option above here gateway on cloud connections here if you see at the bottom here you don't have any data gateways for now okay so let's slowly come down here so there is an option you have no personal gateways installed if you want to install let's click on the install now so once you click on it so it downloads a gateway for you okay so for time being like i downloaded it okay so let me uh, pause this i downloaded uh, for quick purposes yeah this is the software so on premise data gateway personal mode.exe just download it let's double click on it so once i double click on it it takes a little time not too much okay it's in, it's trying to take my app data that's fine okay let's click on select this click on install it, it doesn't take too much time it's a very quick software it's taking yeah it's installing now it's installing yeah it's done now so it is asking for email address to use this with this gateway so let me type my email id i typed my pass uh, email here let's click on sign in yeah so once i enter my email id like uh, the gateway is configured like this so it asks for the password as well so i have entered that password and it, it's, it's done now now let's quickly go to the uh, the power bi cloud here okay so let's refresh this let's go back to the home let's come to the workspaces click on sales yes go to the data set there if you come here the gateways yes now it is showing it's, it's showing um, edit credentials and all okay so now you need to uh, pass the correct path of it okay so now let's quickly come to the refresh here so this is still enabled why because the reason is fail to test the connection to your uh, data source so let me quickly take one um, uh, the sql db and uh, i'll show you otherwise I'll, I'll show this as well let's quickly come here the gateways here is showing the personal gateway is done okay the gateway is connected uh, then i need to create two connections one for uh, the employee xlsx and the other one for superstore uh, this one then only it allows actually okay so let me quickly show you that yeah see how to do it is so let's click on directly edit credentials here once you click on it it shows you the path of the file okay because my uh, the uh, gateway also in the same machine the file also in the same machine so then it works automatically otherwise i need to provide a accessible path to the gateway machine okay now here windows without other imp uh, impersonation so let's select organizational something okay click on sign in so now it's validated now if you see the the connection established both the files employee as well as superstore so let's quickly come here now if you really see it uh, the configure refresh schedule is enabled now so let's uh, currently by default it is off let's click on on so once you click on on it enables you to select the frequency refresh frequency if it is daily by default is daily will be coming here so if you want to select weekly let's select weekly okay select uh, based on your uh, date you need to select the day here let's quickly go to the daily so uh, the timing zone like it's it's a current time in india that is the reason it is showing india timing here by default if you are in another country by default it shows you that now what time do you want to refresh okay so let's select uh, the time okay by default 1 a.m 4 a.m 5 a.m 5 a.m okay add another time if you want another schedule so let's select that uh, 8 a.m okay and also if you see here so you can enable a scheduling refresh only either um, that 5 o'clock or 5.30 means you cannot enable or you cannot schedule your particular dashboard refresh uh, for every 15 minutes. So you have to schedule either uh, 00 or 30. Okay, so that's what by default uh, Power BI Cloud is giving us. So I have scheduled to refresh my dashboard at 5 a.m. as well as 8 a.m. for now. 
and so by any reason okay if the uh, dashboard refresh fails then to whom to whom and all you want to send the failure notification by default it goes to the data set owner if you want anybody then you enter it okay so like when cut something like that okay so now so it is coming again my name only because i am the only person i am not in the lan network okay so by default uh, i can select only my name so that is the reason i selected here means my intention is to show you how to add a different people uh, apart from the data set owner so let's click on apply so now the data set uh, uh, schedule is set up uh, set up now if you come back here okay i'll show you like uh, the scheduling frequency as well if you see here now if you open this uh, window so address data set uh, uh, the last refresh is happened at this time and the next refresh is scheduled to run at 5 am 3rd september okay so because today is second uh, september it's already crossed at 5 and 9 am so okay there's a reason so it is waiting till tomorrow's 5 am okay so if you by any chance if you want to refresh now manually you can click on it okay so let's click on it so it doesn't take much time for us because the data is very less so now quickly so let's go to the report okay so i'll, I'll practically show you one thing okay so let me go to either data is getting or not in the, in the independent so if you see here uh, okay my data um, i am i'm displaying a data based on um, uh, salary analyst uh, salary is 17000 let me quickly go to the data okay so let me quickly go to the data and update that uh, and and uh, show you the uh, the difference yeah the data here let me quickly go to the employee table so let me open here so analyst uh, so where is the analyst here this is the salary analyst here it is uh, salary is some uh, two, two analysts are there okay let me change this to uh, 50000 so just to okay save this data saved now let me come here to the uh, power bi okay so the refresh is already completed might have already completed let's quickly check here it's already completed okay it's 340 let's again um, refresh this so I'm, I'm manually refreshing to show you that uh, that uh, salary difference i made it as 5000 to 50000 now so i should see a, a little uh, vast difference in this yeah it's already completed now okay quickly go here so come to the independent yeah if you see here so earlier it is um what do i say 17th let me refresh this there is a refresh button i'll right, put it here yeah if you see here earlier it is 17000 now it is 62000 in the similar manner um in the similar manner the scheduling also works so today manually i did that refresh but uh, in tomorrow if you observe it the uh, automatically the updated figures will be uh, showing in the dashboards so that's how you will be uh, implementing the uh, scheduling in the power bi cloud there is another platform power automate which helps you to uh, enable the scheduling for your uh, power bi dashboards so that we we'll talk about in the next session thank you